Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Go. Today we are at a place we have never been before called Washington Oaks State Park. It's in Florida, it's a little bit south from all of the other beaches that we've been to and that we've talked to you about and Colin's gonna give you a map right about now. So whenever you are coming from the St. Augustine area and you pull up to this, we put in our GPS, it brought us right to it. The intercoastal side, the side with the gardens, the gift shop, all that stuff is gonna be on your right. Um, you do go that way to the little ranger station to pay and then the beach access is gonna be on your left. So you wanna pay and then cross the street and go to the beach. This beach costs us $5 to get in. And if you can see behind me, there are rock formations that are stunning. It gives me like a West Coast vibe instead of an East Coast vibe, but it is beautiful. We paid $5 to get in here. And uh, the prices kind of vary depending on what you're doing. So Colin's gonna put that up here as well. But basically we paid $5 to have the beach to ourselves. Now there is a second side of this state park that has some gardens and it's like the intercoastal area. Um, whenever you get up to the shack where you pay, you can ask for a map and you can ask for all that information. We took a minute to just walk around over there. We even used the bathroom at a gift shop, all that good stuff. So anything that you could possibly need, like changing food, snacks, that kind of stuff is all on that side of the park. Once you get to the beach side, it's really just a porta potty and a boardwalk. So get everything done before you get here, everything that you need to get done basically. So whenever you come to this side of the state park, it's one road and once you get up here, there is a small parking area. And there's plenty of space because like I said, no one is here. So we were easily just able to pull right into a parking spot. Um, so keep that in mind whenever you're coming here. It is small parking, but it is available and it's very easy to get from your parking spot to the boardwalk. Like it's not a long commute at all. I don't even know if commute's the right word. It's not a long walk at all. It's very short, very easy. So any state park that we've been to does not allow dogs on the beach. We did not see any dogs out here. So I'm feeling like that's pretty confirmed. Um, it's a pretty short walk to these rocks right whenever you come in off that main road in the actual state park. If you can also see there's some condos and stuff that way. I honestly don't know much about it, um, but that is available in this general area. You could probably search on Google Maps basically. Up towards like the grassy part of the beach, you know what I'm talking about, like where the grass is. That is all very sandy and very comfortable, but once you get to where like the tide was and you're walking on it, it is very shelly. So keep that in mind. But I mean, you can pick a lot of seashells here if that's what you're into and that's what you wanna do. So we're gonna explore a little bit. Uh, so far, we are very excited about this beach. I feel like you get the most bang for your buck here. Um, it's just a very cool experience and being able to have the beach to ourselves is awesome. Like you very rarely get that on a weekend in Florida in July with tourists and different things like that and people like us. It also makes filming a lot easier because we can really show you what's around here. I will say driving in, there were not a ton of restaurants. There were not, I didn't see a single gas station because we needed gas, no grocery stores, anything like that. So you want to make sure you do all of that while you're in St. Augustine. That's going to be the closest to here and that's about 30 minutes away. If you like what you see and you'd like to own it, check out my Like to Know It. Please shop my links. It helps us be able to do this on our channel more often. And um, I feel like I dress fairly cute, so maybe you're interested. Anyway, that's going to be linked down below. Thanks for supporting us in any way possible. Speaking of which, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it. And we've got some really great content coming your way that we're planning. So you want to make sure that you subscribe for that reason as well as just being nice to us because that would be really great and helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button. Comment anything below that you want people to know about this beach. And thanks for watching. Bye.